Hi there, it's Farmer Brad, and uh, it's been a little while since my last video. I wanted to inform you that I decided to order my meat birds, and the baby chicks are coming tomorrow. Last year, the largest batch I did was 50 meat birds. This year, I decided to increase that to 100 meat birds. With them coming tomorrow, I needed to make sure that my heat lamp situation is under control. I didn't, I really don't feel safe with the heat lamps. I wanted to make my own uh, Premier One heat lamp. So uh, let me get the stuff and I'll show you how I plan on making it. Okay, so the three things that I have are um, a regular heat lamp that can be pretty dangerous. But what I did was I got an 85 watt light bulb, so it's a little bit smaller in diameter and doesn't get as hot as the 100 or 150 watt uh, bulbs. And then I took a two gallon bucket. This is a very heavy duty. This is the same type that I use for my automatic chicken water buckets. And I took a Dremel tool right along the edge here and uh, made this hole. I took this hard wire cloth and made a circle and I'm going to just shove this down in there. So I'm just pushing it down all the way to the edges. And what this will do is uh, catch the light bulb or uh, anything else that tries to fall. So I place it down in there. Okay, so then you take this uh, clamp and put it onto this uh, bucket handle. And then I go ahead and plug it in. And then what I'll do is I'll hang everything from here and it will uh, put off some heat but I'll feel like it's a lot safer than just having it um, there and could fall down and stuff and uh, I've tested this for about 30 minutes and the plastic doesn't really get hot enough uh, that it's going to melt so um, this is pretty much stuff that I had around the farm and the Premier One uh, uh, lamp ends up putting you back about 55, 65 bucks. So um, just a disclaimer, uh, use this method at your own risk. Um, heat lamps are dangerous and they can uh, burn down barns, um, but with me half, with me getting my uh, broiler uh, baby chicks so early in the year, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is the way to, for me personally, to minimize the risk. Now what I'll do is I'll have a rope and then I'll also have a chain that will hold this up above and it will um, give the baby chicks warmth. So, um, but thanks for watching and I hope this uh, was helpful and gives you some ideas of what you can do on your farm or homestead. So until next time, 